Hey guys, it's Cindy from Living Rich with Coupons. How is everybody today? Uh, I'm gonna wait until we get some more viewers in so um, we can take a few seconds to uh, have everybody start joining us. And I see people are starting to come in now and I hope you are all well and had a good weekend and enjoy the Super Bowl. Uh, my favorite part of the Super Bowl was um, Beyonce and Bruno Mars. I loved that. That was pretty awesome. So I hope you guys had a good uh, weekend. Um, so good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. How is everybody today? Uh, we are going to talk about Catalina deals this morning. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Diana. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm so glad you're here. Um, as I mentioned, hope you all had a great uh, Super Bowl weekend and your team won. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about Catalina deals this morning, which are my favorite deals ever. I love them. I love everything about them. They are an awesome way to save a ton of money on your groceries. Sorry for the shaking of the camera. Cooper is walking around underneath me. Uh, but Catalina Deals, if you are not familiar with Catalina Deals, um, they print out and you get something that looks like this, if you can see it, um, that looks like this when you make um, a qualifying purchase at your grocery store. Now they work at um, most grocery stores and they work at stores like Rite Aid and um, Walgreens, they do not work at CVS, so you won't get them at CVS. Um, Jackie, so I'm going to read that in a little while. Jackie's telling me about the um, uh, issue she had at the store, so I'm glad she had it resolved. But Catalina deals print out like this, and they are um, dollars that you receive on participating items that you purchase at the store. Now, they could be on say uh, buying one or two or three items or they could be buying a number of a dollar amount worth of items like twenty dollars worth of items and then you get a Catalina deal how do you first of all how do you find out about them there's a few ways to find out about them the first way is to go on livingrichwithcoupons.com because we post all the national Catalina deals available and Megan will post them in the comments that link to that and um, I'll also post it on the top later on after the video is all over so that's one way to find out the other way is to find to find out is in your weekly ad now most of the time the ones that are listed in the weekly ad are just for that week uh, and they're specific to that store but there are times uh, I believe that happened last week on the um, Scott or the Georgia Pacific Catalina I think it was that one that it is actually a national deal but it they had it advertised for the week um, and but most of the time the one the week ones in your weekly ad are just for that week and just specific to that store the other way to find out is look at the shelf tags uh, in the store and the shelf tags will tell you if uh, there is a Catalina promotion uh, on that product so you'll know that way also the other way to I don't have one with me I looked um, but the other way is to get a printout you'll get a printout from the um, store telling you that there's either a promotion going on or that the promotion is going to be happening in the weeks coming up uh, so that's another way to find out so that's the those are the ways that you find out Megan just posted the um, uh, Catalina offers that we list on the site and Linda does an awesome job of keeping up with all of those so ours is very updated and with the most uh, up-to-date information about all the national Catalinas so Catalinas what are they exactly and how do they work there to, to me and to most couponers we consider them just like cash so what's happening is you're making a purchase at the store and it's like the store is giving you um, cash back to use at a later date. So this Catalina that I have currently, to me, is like $5, like a $5 bill sitting in my wallet 
um, that I can use, and I happen to have done it at the ShopRite store. Um, so this is money I can use on my next purchase at ShopRite. So for me, it's just like cash. So when they this comes out of the machine, to me, they just gave me a $5 bill. No different to me. Now, if you don't shop at that store, say you were at Rite Aid and you were driving in another state and you happened to stop at a Rite Aid and you got one of these and you left and then you went home and you don't have a Rite Aid by you and you never use it again, it's a waste of money. Um, it's a waste of an offer. So, it, But if you shop at that store all the time, then these are like cash back. Use them on your next purchase. So they're awesome to use and to do these offers. So let me give you some examples. I said in the beginning that there were two types of Catalina offers that you get. You either get one for buy a certain quantity of items and you get cash back or you get um, or there's buy a certain dollar amount worth of items and you get cash back. So let's talk first about buying a certain quantity of items. Let's give I'll give you an example and I have a video that breaks this down as well and Megan can again post the link to that video in the comments below and we'll post them above. Um, but I have, I do this in my workshop and if you can see this here, can you see that? Yep. So let's say there was an offer for buy, win, buy Windex products, buy two Windex products and you get a $1.50 Catalina. So let's say that the Windex are on sale for $1.99 and you're going to buy two and you're going to use your coupons so you'll use two say there's two 50 cent coupons available right now and those will double if you happen to be at a store that doubles so you'll only pay a dollar 98 and then you get a dollar 50 catalina back so that's like paying 24 cents each after your coupons and your Catalinas. Remember, we look at Catalinas as cash back. So they just gave me $1.50 cash back after I did that deal. Now, what's called rolling, if you wanted to roll that Catalina into your purchase, your next purchase, and do that deal again, you're going to have buy two at $1.99. You're going to use two 50 cent coupons if you have more. Your total will be $1.98 but you're gonna first use, before you pull out cash out of your wallet, you're gonna first use that $1.50 Catalina to pay for it. So you're only gonna pay uh, 48 cents. And then you're still, guess what? You're still going to get that another $1.50 Catalina. That's called rolling. And it's a great way to keep your out of pocket as low as possible. Just keep using your Catalinas to pay and get continue to get more Catalinas, either from the same type of deal or maybe next week a different type of deal because there's always some kind of Catalina deal that goes on. Now, this week, for instance, if you happen to be a ShopRite shopper, and Megan just posted uh, the video on there. If you guys want to take a look at that after I'm done talking or um, now if you wanted to as well. But um, let's take, for instance, um, that, what was I... I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, this week, <laughs> this week, um, I got this $5 Catalina. If you are a ShopRite shopper, this, there's a Catalina deal that's awesome this week. And that is buying, um, I bought four Aquaphor lip care items for your lip and um, one Eucerin body lotion. It was a smaller bottle. I think it was a four point something ounce bottle and I paid after coupons and um, uh, e-coupons I paid I don't even remember the exact amount but it was a less than five dollars it was like three something maybe uh, or four something I forget and then I got this five dollar Catalina so that made it a money maker so if I wanted to do it again I would get another one of these now those are, that's if you're buying a uh, quantity, um, uh, like $20 worth or $10 worth. So you have to meet that quantity um, at the store. Now, if you happen to shop at ShopRite, that, and you have your Price Plus card, which if you don't have your Price Plus card, you better get your Price Plus card because you need a Price Plus card. But if you shop at ShopRite, 
you'll see that there are some items that are uh, have price plus discounts. So if you're buying $20 worth of products that qualify for a Catalina deal, you can hit that $20 based on the pre-price plus prices. I know that's hard to say. Um, so that is the prices before your price plus discounts will come off. So the $20 was on the that I hit for that Aqua 4 and that Eucerin was on the price before I would use my price plus discount card. Okay? And I know that's a little confusing, but we break it down for you on the site all the time um, so that you are, have an understanding of how the deals work. But you get this Catalina and I'll use it next time at the grocery store. Now, what I like to do with my Catalinas, there's a couple of things you can do. I happen to like to save them and use them to buy meat. So I get discounts on meat by using my Catalina deals that I did on these awesome deals and then just use them to uh, bring my um, out of pocket lower for my meat purchases. So that's a great way to save money to, to get, you know, not pay as much money for your meat purchases. Um, now, one couple things you should know about Catalinas when you're doing the Catalina deals. Number one, you can use coupons. So definitely use your coupons because you can use coupons when you're doing these offers. The other thing is to, um, make sure that you do one like Catalina offer per transaction. So in the case of that Windex um, example that we gave you, you could not buy four and get $2.50 Catalinas. You can only buy two. If you bought four, you'd still only get the $1.50 Catalina. So you have to separate your transactions either in the same day or different day, um, or sometimes if the deals are lasting more than a one week, you can do it the next week if the pricing, the sale price is the same. Um, so make sure you separate those transactions. You can do uh, different Catalina offers in one transaction. So if I did the Aqua 4, I happened to be at ShopRite this week, the Aqua 4 deal, and there's also a deal on healthcare products like uh, Luden's cough drops that I also did um, this week. You can do those in the same transaction, um, but you can't do two Ludens and two um, uh, Aquaphor in the same transaction. So they have to; those have to be separated. Um, now, the great thing again is keep these help to keep your out of pocket low. So that's a great uh, benefit to these Catalina deals. And one of my favorite things to do is they always have what's called gift card Catalina deals. So that's buying a certain amount of gift cards. Um, and it varies from um, deal all the deals, times they have that deal. It could be a whole bunch of gift cards. It could be any gift cards besides the store gift cards. Or it could be specific stores like this week, um, running through this week, uh, ShopRite has them for buying $50 worth of just very specific stores like Sephora, I think, and Nike, and maybe a couple of other ones. But if you plan on buying something at that store, you might as well buy your gift card at um, the supermarket that has the offer and get your, in this case, it was $10 Catalina. So say, for instance, you had to buy a gift at Sephora, or you were gonna give somebody a gift of a $50 Sephora gift card or buy two $25 gift cards for two different gifts if you don't want to be that generous and get one $50 one. But anyway, if you buy $50, if you had to buy this gift card or items at Sephora this week, you might as well go to ShopRite and get it there and get $10 in free groceries. It's like awesome and a great way to, to save on your meat, which one day I'm going to talk about how to save on meat. I think actually I'm doing it this week on Friday. Um, but this is one way that I do that, um, buying gift card deals and uh, getting Catalinas and using those Catalinas to pay for meat. Um, so that's a great um, way to do that. Gift card Catalinas are usually during the holidays, which is why there's one now for Valentine's Day. They'll be, them, they'll be out during uh, Mother's Day. They'll be out during Father's Day. They'll be out during graduation. They're out during Christmas and Hanukkah season. And so 
keep your eye on them and we always post them when they're around because they're great deals to take advantage of. Um, so that is how to use Catalinas and what they are. I hope that helped you. I'm going to look through real quickly because I talked a long time today. Sorry. I'm going to look through real quickly and um, see if there are um, any questions I can answer. Let's see. Uh, is there a limit to the number of Catalinas you can get? No, um, not at the grocery store. You can, in one transaction, yes, which I spoke about, but you can keep doing them throughout the week um, and continue to get them. So they're not, there's not a limit on them. Um, sometimes there are limits on those gift card Catalinas that we talked about, but those are the ones that will print at the bottom of your receipt versus um, getting a Catalina. If it's a Catalina, it will mostly be unlimited. Um, yes, someone's had just watched the expiration dates on your Catalinas. They do have expiration dates, as you can see from this one. It expires 221. There's nothing worse than going to use your Catalina and going, shoot, it expired last week. Um, I've done it, unfortunately. It's like throwing money in the garbage, but. Um, make sure you watch those Catalina's dates. Um, uh, someone said, I thought some Catalina's don't roll. Um, they, the only place that that may happen is at Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens Catalina's don't roll. Every other store, they roll. Um, so you never have to be up worried about that. Um, hi, Cindy, can you live on saving star and check. Yep. I'll be doing a whole bunch of other, um, videos. So we'll, t we'll talk about saving star and check at 51 and all that at a, at a later date. Can you use a cat with a similar manufacturer's coupon? Um, are you, um, talking about, if you're talking about these, um, these are just towards the store. Um, any, anything towards the store. So you can use cat, uh, any kind of manufacturer's coupon. Other things that hope, print out of the Catalina machine are regular coupons um, that look like this. Or um, actually, I only have store coupons here, but there are some that are not store coupons. They'll say manufacturer's coupons on top. Um, those cannot be combined with another manufacturer's coupons because they are a manufacturer's coupon. This one is a store coupon, as you can see here. Um, so this one can be stacked with a regular manufacturer's coupon. I hope that answers that question. Hubby's call as a horse. Uh, well, you can see it later if you miss the um, uh, if you miss the video. You can see it'll it'll be continuing on, and you can always see the whole thing later on. Um, if you have, um, thank you guys so much for coming today. It was a great video. A um, lot of great questions from you guys and I'm happy you're here and we'll be doing um, another video tomorrow except I can't remember what it's for. Hold on, <laughs> Hold on I'll tell you. I should have been prepared with that. Um, let's see. Hang on one second and I'll tell you what the tomorrow we're talking about. Let's see. We are talking about, oh, tomorrow we're doing how to save on meat. How to save on meat tomorrow. That's going to be a great segment. So I hope you guys come on over and we'll chat about how I like to save on meat and other tips um, to help you save on meat. So we'll catch you tomorrow. I hope you have a great couponing day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.